Well, hello everybody. Good, good evening. I want to welcome you all to my channel. This is Gloria Drummond. And um, first of all, I want to lead into this song, lead into this uh, tonight with a song. Okay, the most beautiful song I think he's ever done. So I'm gonna play this song. Okay. He showed me how. <clears throat> Feel played. It doesn't have the video, it just has a picture of him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know, some of you may not know who he is. It's David Archuleta. And yes, he's Mormon. He's Mormon. But the most important thing is he loves Jesus. He loves Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> I've been searching and searching the Bible uh, in Corinthians. I mean, not Corinthians, Thessalonians, Thessalonians. And I have found some verses I want to read. The two videos I did last night, they were thumbed down by, by one, one person. And I don't know whether it was about the gifts of the Spirit or whether it was about the rapture. I don't know. I don't know, but 
<clears throat> I have some, some verses I want to read to everybody. I love you. God loves you. And you know, again, that I am sincere. And I'm very humbled before God. I'm very humbled. He has showed me how. In a lot of ways, he, he has showed me, let me how. All right. <clears throat> We're going we're gonna to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19 first, okay? All right. To get your, if you want to get your Bibles, verse 19, the crown of rejoicing. For what is our hope, our, or, is, for what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For ye are our glory and our joy. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to skip on over. Um, okay. To verse 13. To the end. To the end. He may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God. Even our Father at the coming of our Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. Okay. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. <clears throat> furthermore then we beseech you brethren and exhort you by the Lord Jesus that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God so ye would abound more and more for ye, for ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus that for this is the will of God even your sanctification that ye should abstain from fornication that every one should, of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor Okay, six, verse 6, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified, preached. For God hath not called us unto uncleanliness, but, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given us unto his Holy Spirit. In other words, won't, wouldn't listen, wouldn't listen. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed ye do it toward all the brethren which are in Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Okay, <clears throat> verse 12. That ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. The coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, then which also which, is, which, which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. <clears throat> the church is future. 16. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so, sh so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Chapter 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, <clears throat> that that day should overtake you as a thief, not take you by surprise, in other words. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, for that they sleep for they that sleep during in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even also as, as also ye do. Okay. It says, and to, 13, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that, that are unruly, comfort, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, 
Be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who, who also will do it. Okay. Now that's what that's what I found to read. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna ask everybody. I'm gonna ask you something. Okay. Isn't the most important thing is to be ready? To be ready. Never mind. I've said this before. Never mind about the post trip, the pre trip, trip, the millennium trip. The most important thing is for us to be right with the Lord. So when he does come, we, he will take us. The Bible does speak of uh, the, the, t the taking out. The word rapture is not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. But it, it does talk about taking, taking us out. But I still say that this is after the tribulation. I am a child of God. I am a minister of the Lord. And um, that's, that's what I said last night. And I still hold, tr hold true to what I said last night. I don't claim to know everything. I go by the Bible. That's what I said. I go by, by the, Lord, the Lord. See, when I get, I, I get tongue twisted because of the Holy Spirit. He makes intercession with me. And people fight and argue over what's true and what's not. The pre-trib, the post-trib and all that. What's true... The most important thing, amen, hallelujah, the most important thing is we need to be ready. We need to be right with Jesus. It doesn't matter when he does come. When he does come, we have to be ready. Isn't that the most important thing? Whether he comes tomorrow or whether he comes whenever he comes. Because we know not the day or the hour. And I've said this before too. I would never say anything to deceive anybody. I'm just going by what the word says. And these false teachers and, and prophets that preach on things that's not true, they will be dealt with. They will be dealt with. Yes, they will be dealt with. So, that's my message for tonight. And to whoever that was that thumbed my video down, I wish, if, it, if, it, if it's anybody that watches my videos, I wish that they would at least tell me why. You know, give me a give me, you know, comment on it. Not, don't just thumb it down without a comment. That would be decent, the decent thing to do, I would think. You know, you thumb down both videos, somebody thumbed them both down. And it may not be any, any of my subscribers. I don't know. But you thumbed them both down. I, you know, remember what I said. Teach it, speak it, teach it, and preach it. From here on out, and I and I never have tried to sugarcoat anything, but I'm going to be a lot more bold now. I have to be. I have to be as God's servant. I have to be bold before the throne, bold before the throne, and let people know. That he is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And his word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes. And like I said last night, you don't have to, don't listen to what man says. You go by what the word says, by what the word says. So I love you all. God bless you. God bless you. I hope, again, I hope everybody, everybody had a very happy Thanksgiving. And Again, this is my cross. This is who and what I represent, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, until my dying breath. So, I love you all. I may do another one. I don't know yet. It's, it's only 8.30. We're all on almost 15 minutes, so I'm going to get off of here for now. So, I love you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. To my next video. Okay. Bye-bye.